Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today to hear my presentation. I'm Shen Ling from Shanghai Jiao Tong University, and I'm joined by my co-authors, Jun Huiji and Osman Azim. Together, we are excited to share with you our research titled Capline Improving Cross-Model Alignment Via Informative Captioning for Harmful Mean Detection. Means of those funny pictures and phrases you see all over the internet Memes are like inside jokes for the online world. Think about the emojis they are like to. I think on the kick of our chest, they make us laugh, help us express how we feel, and connect us with others in a playful way. But memes have a darker side. Sometimes they can spread bad, bad, bad stuff, like mean jokes or wrong ideas. Some memes make fun of people because of their race, gender, or other things. That's not cool. And sometimes means are used to treat people or make them believe things that are not true. So while means can be fun, it's crucial to recognize the potential harm it can cause. Detecting harmful means is an important task we must to take seriously. Previous research have primarily concentrated on feature extraction and fusion techniques to extract discriminative information from means. Nonetheless, these approaches tend to overlook the misalignment between different modalities induced by the modality gap. Additionally, they grapple with the challenge of limited data availability, leading to inadequate learning outcomes for fusion-based model. In recent times, scholars have sought to address these limitations by converting images into textual caption and leveraging language model for predictive task. However, this approach has often resulted in poor detection performance due to the low quality of the generated image captions. Identifying harmful main poses significant challenges due to their complex composition. This task involves overcoming two primary hurdles. Firstly, this, there's a significant gap, gap between modalities. Effectively identifying harmful mean content in means requires a detailed understanding of how visual and textual elements interact. <clears throat> Systems must not only in interpret the individual meaning of the image and the text, but also understand the complex interplay and textual nuances when combined. Secondly, data scarcity compounds the challenge. Building a comprehensive data set that adequately represents the diverse landscape, landscape of harmful means, along with their cultural context and involving thematic nuances, is inherently difficult. This scarcity hinders the development and training of effective detection, detection algorithms, making it difficult to automate the identification process accurately and sensitively. To address these challenges mentioned above. In our work, we proposed an instructions-based uh, approach named Kappa-Line. Specifically, Kappa-Line has three core components, cross-model aligner, flip interrogator, and uh, prompt-based language model. Cross-model aligner serves as an image information extractor to generate an insightful and informative caption from an image in a zero-shot, multi-term, question answering manner. Clip interrogator plays a crucial way to enhancing attributes representation, thereby enriching the overall understanding of the content. Subsequently, the extracted captions and att attributes are seamlessly integrated into the prompt-based language model to overcome the challenge of insufficient data. This slide showcases the comprehensive architecture of our proposed method, and the subsequent slides will delve deeper into the functionality of each component and explain how they collaborate to advance the detection of harmful means. This is cross-model aligner. It takes advantage of powerful vision language model like Lab2 to address image-related inquiries and generate descriptive captions. This is accomplished by posing pertinent questions to gradually accumulate additional information. Then we fed generated captions with instructions 
to further refine and make generated captions informative and align the modalities within a mix. Specifically, we have development, developed a prompting system that fosters in the inclination of ChatGPT to pose insightful questions with the aim of maximizing its understanding of the image. This system builds upon prior question and answering its changes to continually enhance its knowledge and comprehension. Given that ChatGPT lacks the ability to perceive or interpret the visual elements com contained within a meme, our approach involves employing Blip2 as a question answering system to which we provide the specific visual content in question. Following the conversation, ChatGPT is directly to condense the discourse into a concise summary referred to as the image description. This summary, along with the textual content of the meme, is subsequently inputted into ChatGPT once more, enabling to the generation of the informative image caption. Here is an example of dialogue between ChatGPT and Blip2. Blip2 initially lacks a detailed description. However, through subsequent interactions, the model gathers additional information about the image, and this allows the questioner to eventually generate an informative caption by considering multiple aspects of the image. To follow previous studies, we incorporate attributes as an elevated image concepts to encompass new harmful elements and the relevant contextual information within the input mean. To identify the top pay attributes, we combine clip with clip to align the text prompt with the specific image. We use clip interrogator to calculate the cosine similarity score between an image and each attribute in the collective set of common entities and attributes. Ultimately, to address the challenge of limited data availability, we implemented prompt-based learning, a strategy that fine-tuning a pre-trained language model by leveraging prompt-based fine-tuning. It transfers downstream tasks into a masked language model task by employing specific prompt templates and a new label space. Specifically, we in integrate the previously generated captions and attributes into the prompt, creating this augmented input into the language model to generate predictions for potential labels at the mask position. In our assessment of caption ability quality, we conducted a comparative analysis between cross-model aligner and blip generated captions. The cross-model aligner module emerged as a vital factor in, in elevating the quality of both summaries and captions. This enhancement is driven by three key advancements. Firstly, specific, specificity and uh, detail are notable heightened in semi captions. They go beyond mere surface level description to offer more precise details. Secondly, semi captions demonstrate a profound textual understanding of the means. They delve deeper into a means context, providing richer insights and the interpret. Semi captions have also the ability to supplement content with additional background knowledge, enriching the viewer's understanding and engagement. When subjected to assess assessments through a binary label task, Capline exhibits a market superior over its baseline method, evidenced by significant F1 score on HAMC and HAMP dataset, respectively. In the task of target identification, our proposed methodology signifies a notable advancement beyond baseline approaches, achieving the highest F1 score on the HAMP dataset and surpassing baseline accuracy with a significant margin on the HAMC dataset. Our approach highlights the effectiveness of model modality alignment and utilizing prompt-based tuning. Ablation studies assess the importance of each component in the Kaplan method. By removing captions, attributes, and the chat summaries separately, we observed a significant decrease in performance. 
highlighting the crucial role of each element. These findings emphasize the necessity of all modules working together for optimal results and stress the importance of multimodal approach in detection conformance. In summary, Kaplan stands out as a top performer, outshining existing methods on benchmark dataset, especially notable in its effectiveness in zero sort VQA setting for identify harmful means. This is achieved through an instruction based ab abstraction method and dialogue generated informative questions. In essence, Kaplan's robustness and uh, Adaptability mark it as a promising solution in this area. And that's all for my presentation. Thank you all.